Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lebukhan Mahori, and you are watching Africa Connect. We are here at the Soshanguve TUT campuses at TUT FM station, and we are having a dialogue about blessers and blessees. Now, a blesser is a sugar daddy. A blessee is a sugar mommy, and this is when... Um, an older man and a younger woman decide to be in a relationship on a basis um, of exchanging sex for money. I am now joined to furthermore discuss uh, this topic by Kuratilun um, Goveni from Queen Mentality. Queen Mentality. Uh, thank you for joining us. Can you please tell me more about what do you think about this whole um, blesser and blessee trend that's been going on and affecting so much of our young women and young men in this country? Well, I personally think it is something that really de demeans a woman's womanhood. You know, like the fact that we as women have been stooped down to a level of being um, equivalent to a commodity is something that doesn't really sit well with me. And well, because like I have a women empowerment organization so through the organization we also strive to make women know their worth and their value by not you know stooping down to having a sugar daddy for material things excellent so how would you encourage uh, uh, you know girls our age to to stop this thing from going on and turning it into such a, a well-established habit how do we stop this um, I would say that identity is one of the most pivotal things. Like, if you really know who you are, you know your ethics, you know your moral values, then you wouldn't, you know, stoop down to that level of having an older man, you know, on top of you just for exchange of materialistic things. So I think it goes, it, it, firstly, by knowing yourself and knowing your values and also being by like being surrounded by like-minded people because if you're surrounded by people who have the mentality that you know in, like you don't have to work hard for whatever it is that you need you can just simply get an older man then you will, you will always obviously you know tag, tackle on the same mentality as them so knowing yourself having the right kind of friends and just knowing your value as a woman Wow, that is incredible. Knowing yourself, knowing your value as a woman and not being surrounded by like-minded persons. So uh, tell me more about your organization. Do you cater for people like women who've underwent these kind of you know, challenges in life? Um, well, through the organization, like I said, we strive to empower and encourage women in all aspects. And we are currently in a partnership with Beulah Rehabilitation Center, which is a center where they take women who were forced into um, human trafficking or prostitutes and then we rehabilitate them from that, you know, into being normal again into the society. So that's our part in, you know, not encouraging the whole blesser and blessy situation. Okay, thank you very much, Kiratile. It was nice having you here. For more information, visit us on Africa Connect. Stay tuned. Yeah, most definitely, I would support it because being a blessing and being a blesser is the very same thing because at the end of the day, me, maybe as a guy being desperate, if an old woman approaches me and say, uh, I'm having this amount, while well, I mean, as a student, I don't even have it in my room, maybe I don't have food, what am I supposed to do? Because firstly, I don't have money. So, and the money is in front of me. For me to get the money, it means I have to sleep with an old woman. Why not do it? Because as girls, even girls, they do it. So what's the difference between guys doing it and a, and a girl doing it? There's no difference because at the end of the day, we get the benefits. My only problem is with blessers and blessy. At the end, they tend to be controlling. You get my point? They tend to say, since me, I'm sponsoring you with each and everything that you want. They want to control you. They want you to, to behave in a certain way that you're not used to. The, the blesser place relationship, the one that goes head on. The, the transaction is the good life, the good lifestyle in exchange for biscuit. But listen, what I'm saying is, it doesn't matter on how you put it, but what matters is it's, it's still prostitution. Either you like it or no, not. No. You're getting money in exchange of sex. There's no love when you have a blesser. Again, yeah. Same goes to when you are a prostitute. It's just that they have made I, sure that I, they I, modernize I, it into a better way. I, it is prostitution. I, I, Simple. Lento, I'm a blesser, like, according to my own perception. Eh? I don't think who teach is the right thing. Firstly, 
it ruins your reputation. We can think of the future, but then currently, Yenza Nigwena is a girl. It ruins your reputation. Let us say, Ilani Pitoling Sugale, Ekaya, Ekazen, Nungumzul, Nyazuguti, Ismilo, Sentombas, and Espanja Ranjan. In future, Kankuli, Siuguti, Meleng, Tole, Umundo, Rites, Ozong Lobola, Nam Nim Shati Foot. But then, Nifigalan and Zotin Funi Plesa, Gungan Pasaranjan, Sento Lutz, Ekazen, Babam Nim Shile, Upis, Plesa, and Amantombas, and High School. So this thing, it contributes actually, as us black uh, ladies actually, which we are not going to be empowered in the future. You yeah, understand? We are not going to be empowered in the future because okay, in my life there is a shortcut. Whenever I have got cravings, irregardless of I am pregnant of no, or not, but then there is a shortcut. There will be this blesser. See, in, uh, in high school, in African city, I'm a sacred pass, I'm a sugar daddies. So, as the time goes on, the century changes and the term is being changed. So, Minangiti, this thing, I am against it. Abantu, they are, ju they are just being confused, actually. They do not understand the concept, Yoguti, okay, you have a right to do whatever you want, but then do not abuse the power of utilizing your own rights as a lady. I am against, I'm a place, I mean. It is said, in, yes, love your neighbor as you love yourself. And you can further elaborate and say, do unto others as you wish them to do unto you. So, my interpretation, it's fine. Of course, we don't have our favorite people. You have your favorites and then you have your not so favorites. But when you further absorb diverse, it just basically says we need to take care of each other. She mentioned a word that uh, I hardly hear many South Africans mention Ubuntu. And then I think we also need to go back. She said, she, she said something we should think about. Uh, whereas in, in terms of looking for the government, every time we have problems, government, government, yeah, uh, I think at some point in time we need to ask ourselves, what are we doing? Yes. Yeah, I want. And then when you take that verse into account, Ubuntu, it basically says, if I see that you're doing something wrong, I won't judge you. But from my own capacity, my sister, if you are blessed, I will motivate you. I will bless you with knowledge. I will empower you. I'll make sure you'll be able to think on your own. And then I'll be able to pay the rent, do this. Do. I'll, I'll motivate you. Because you are not a blessing, you're not rich. How can you? You're not even a rich friend from my other mother. No. Now I will motivate you. I will educate you. I will assist you wherever I can so that you as a woman can feel empowered. Today we are, we, 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 we are facing some serious problems and people are even speculating of a woman president. With such uh, things that are happening, bless up, bless see. Mm. How do we expect to motivate young girls to an extent or rubber once or you can become the first female president of our country if we promote this relationship that he bless us and blesses? How are we to do that? You see an older man, even like Kamotexi, but busy with her banabanyan, and we sit there and we laugh, Kamotexi, as if it's a joke. Moi long horin kera kalim. I think as guys, we need to love our women. We need to love our women. And I'm not saying love it, David, sorry, I'm not almost a thing. No. You need to be there for your woman. You may not be there in terms of finance, well, well. Mara, it goes back to you uh, uh, as a young girl. You need to be understanding. Hora, right now, we are both studying. Yeah. We are not working. Mara, we are working towards a common goal. That is being educated so that we can be able to empower ourselves. So that we can build our own empire. Okay, to add on to that, ne, Mina, the thing that worries me the most, South Africa is in an economic crisis. And if you could check, these blessers and blessees, majority of them, Vele, they are South Africans. Women who are South Africans, they get affected by these blessers. We understand that. If you could check, the foreign nationals which are in this country, they are so highly educated. They cannot express their knowledge or they cannot practice whatever they have in qualification because they are not the citizens of South Africa. So what I am trying to say, as South Africans, we have been controlled scientifically, 
you understand. When I say scientifically, in life, like recently, the generation, the generation of uh, the present time, they believe that in order for you to be, to be in the spotlight, you must carry a certain gadget. For you to be greeted by someone who's beautiful or for you to be approached by any, any handsome brother, you must have a superstar or whatever. What I am trying to say is South Africans have forgotten that we, we like the leaders, the leaders, the former leaders of this country, they fought so much, so much for Leli Lizwe, Leli, but then at the end, look at what is happening right now. We cannot say I am relying on a certain blesser for I to stand in a queue to buy something at Foshin. Why can't I work for myself? And last thing, what I want to say, Michelle Obama didn't get married to a blesser. Barack Obama, the time besa data, he had nothing in his pocket. But then what they had was real love. They got educated. Look at where they are right now. Barack Obama is a president and Michelle Obama is the first lady of America. So South African ladies, Musan Ukvilapa ni tipende laguma places, angeguze gun seize lok. Right, brilliant. Uh, can you please tell me what are you doing to show that you are against this whole uh, bless and blessy trend? Uh like I can say on my or like on social media, on my Facebook page, I'm against blessers there. So what do you do? Do you um, create hashtag trends or do you say hashtag blessers must fall? Yes. <laughs> on to, on my like on my on my Twitter hashtag blessers must fall. Even even if, even if my friends uh, love blessers, I, I can I can even tell them that uh, what you are doing is is totally wrong. Wrong. Yeah. Wow, incredible. Hashtag bless us must fall. Now you, Sandy, please tell me uh, what's the way forward, uh, being, considering that you are in between. What's your way forward? Um, with me, on my Facebook page, I also say, like, I discourage, like, blessers. I even told people, if my father is your blesser, bring him here and bring the relevant evidence. I will show him. And then I'm hoping to join an organization back at home, East Strand, Goe Kuruleni. It's Happy Girls. It will help young women. And even here at school, I'm also involved in a structure, Young Women's Desk. We're hoping to help young girls. And people should know, we see places are not very far from us. They're here. Here in universities, our lectures are places. You can even find that, as you said, it's like your father, you know? You'd be, be surprised. Exactly. I think if guys or us we stop our fathers maybe if your father is a blesser you must stop your father right now or leave young children alone because places are not very far but more encompassing there are lectures probably wow interesting very interesting discussion we had there thank you very much for joining us hashtag blessers must fall